Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial in Maya. Today I'm going to show you how to check the performance of a rig and how to make it better because probably you're running slow and it's causing trouble animating. So for example I have this rig of one of my students in here and she told me that she wasn't having like a really uh, good performance with this rig. Uh, we have around, well, let's first say that we're running player refrain free, right? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six dynamics, okay? And they are on. So, it's currently working around 21 to 24, which is eh, it's not that bad since we're, we're animating at 24 frames per second, but it's not good for this type of rig. I mean, it should be working way faster so let's see what we have here first things to check is the body and we say okay we have the body and we have some create color set which are mm, it's not a problem they are created when automatically when you paint weights it's, it's okay a delta mosh to keep better deformations which is okay skin cluster which is okay and blend chips and we have five wrap deformers uh, she connected the clothes to the body with wrap deformers, which is fine. And if we uh, find out in here in the wrap deformer, we have exclusive bind off in the skirt, but in the rest of the of the clothes we have exclusive bind on. The exclusive bind on is going to be better performance but the skirt is a quite complex uh, piece of geometry so we better keep it off to better deformations okay so seems like pretty much everything if I go here we have all the skin clusters we have wrap deformers there isn't anything that I can say yeah this is a problem this is a problem it's causing bad performance in here so we don't know and the rig is, is working fine I mean the, the rig is okay so we can go to uh, window general editors profiler and since, since we have this quite generic animation to test the performance we can just start recording and hit play okay and we are going to focus in the evaluation I'm going to hit F and you can see this uh, bigger uh, stuff like here and here right for example this one and it says right eye geo shape right eye geo shape right so we have the problem in here the right eye geo shape is, is being evaluating quite bigger than for example skin closer and it's because we have a lot of poly tweak poly ue poly map transfer geometry transfer attributes okay okay so we didn't found the eyes into the geometry group because they are inside the rig and they have a lattice which is a problem because uh, well she told me that she was creating oop that wasn't expected sorry about that <laughs> okay so we are going to select the eye and the eye has uh, some construction history she told me that she was creating UV mapping and that's a problem <laughs> because if we have UV mapping history and we have a rig probably is going to uh, if we go and delete by type non-deformer history we keep the lattice and the AI is going to keep working correctly right but it's probably going to cause issues in the UV mapping for example, in this eye, it's okay, it's in, it's in there and everything is working correctly. But if I go to this one that has transfer attributes in here, and I go to delete by type non-deformer, it's going to um, mess up the UV here. Because we probably were um, copying the UV from here to here. Let's say, for example, even though we have bad UV mapping in here, and I go and hit play, well, it's kind of better, 
but isn't doing like great job, right? I can, if I cannot remove the lattice, I can go again and create a transfer attributes and have the the UE here and obviously remove this one. <laughs> okay, just keep the the second one and uh, let's hit play and we have 45 40 something which is the double of what we have in this in the beginning it's not it's not correctly done but it's quite a solution right so we have history and we can we have a decent performance the correct way to do this is to actually remove the lattice remove the lattice and delete by type history normally and then create the lattice again, which I'm going to do one by one. Not going to modify the deformation in here because it's, it's, it's nothing important in this video. Just to keep the performance in there. So we have a lattice and we have everything clean. And we have 60, 68 to 70, which is way better than the previous one. Okay. So we run from 24 to 70, it's very decent, okay? What else can we do? We can turn the dynamics off. Let me save because <laughs> sometimes it crashes. Um, there is this uh, dynamics on and off, but it's not working correctly. I mean, I'm aware this doesn't work. So I'm just going to remove these controls because they crash all the time I turn them off. And I'm going to find the hair systems and turn them off manually. So instead of putting simulation method of follicles, put them off. Uh huh. Okay. And let's see if it's not crashing. No. Well, even though I turned off the dynamics, it's working pretty, pretty much the same. So it's not causing any trouble to have them on. But even for animation, it's better to have them off. So let's keep them this way. And something really easy to do is just show polygons, select everything, and put it in one. Yes, I know, it's not looking that pretty. But you can go and select the geometry, mesh display, soften edge, and it's going to, yes, yes, it's causing extra deformation in here, extra history. So edit, delete by type, non deformer history. We have only delta mesh, skin cluster, and blend chips. And if we hit play, we have a hundred percent of performance. We can do the same with this, this, and this. Uh, the hair is fine for me, to be honest. So again, soften edge, edit, delete by time, non deformer. And now everything looks pretty similar than, than when it was in 3, with subdivision, and good performance. And no history, obviously, because we deleted it. So this is how we increase the performance from 24 to 100 <laughs> in this specific case. But we can, you can do it with the profiler and check out what is causing the slowness and uh, find a solution like I did in here. So thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful and uh, see you next time.